Hey guys, what's going on? Josh here from Polymathics, and today I want to talk to you guys about nannies, babysitters, right? Do you, did you, when you were growing up, did you have a babysitter? Did you have a nanny? Someone to sit there and kind of watch you, um, make sure you stayed out of trouble, make sure you were safe, always tell you what to do. That way, you know, you, you could get your homework done on time. You see, I was thinking about this today, and I was thinking about the differences that I see, because there's always stark contrasts between um, people who do and people who don't. And, um, and one of the biggest things I see is that people who are successful, and, and when we look too at like the, and we're going to take this to the polymaths in, in history um, and their success. But when we look at, at successful people in general, they have what's called initiative. And unfortunately, we've been kind of groomed for the past century, um, ever since the industrial age, to, to need or require a babysitter to tell us to do everything, right? We go to work and there should be some sort of instruction manual. There's some sort of supervisor watching over us. Someone there who we can go to with questions and, and ask, um, what do I do? What do I do? And don't get me wrong. Um, to an extent, it's okay to have people you can depend upon for good counsel. And, and when you're younger, going through an apprenticeship period is also okay. But for those of us who are trying to set out on our own to, to truly find success, um, in its many different facets, um, what I see a lot of people doing is like they expect someone to give them a road map. They expect there to be some cookie cutter how-to book on how to be successful. And they also expect it to be like an overnight success. success. They don't want to put in any kind of work they don't want to walk that road they just want to get from point A they want to teleport from point A to point B without doing any of the walking and unfortunately teleportation is a ways away and as far as I know so is the ability to become successful overnight and the other thing is too you should despise any kind of success like that for example the lottery right if you were to win the lottery that is a terrible curse and it has been for many people who have won. Now I'm not saying that you that some people couldn't take advantage of that but what I'm saying is for the vast majority because you cannot replicate that kind of luck that kind of instant success you can very easily lose it right all that money and stuff and, and first of all money is not all success that's a whole other topic but the second thing is um, that you, it's not replicate. You can't replicate it, and because you can't replicate it, you'll never. You can never anticipate that that type of success again. Whereas those people who set out with their mission, and they don't they don't go and ask for some sort of you know how to book on how to be. They 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 sit down and they figure it out, right? If anybody is creating a book on how to make you successful, that person should be you. You should be the one because only you know what your true potential is. Only you know what your true capabilities are. Only you live in the life that you live. No one else is going to know that. And also, to be quite honest, no one else is going to care. I hate to tell you that. No one is out there being paid to make you successful. The only person who cares about that is you. So that is the person who's going to have to take it upon themselves to do something. Right? My uh, my kids, we just had a discussion about this recently, but they, um, you know, they're having problems with their homework. And so they go to their nanny and, and or sorry, they went to their, they went to their teacher and asked one time for some assistance but the teacher was busy dealing with other students and and he told he told my 
my child to, you know, just hang tight, he'd get to him. Well, as we know, the, you know, the world gets in the way, people are busy, and I assume he forgot. And so my son, when I started questioning him about this, I said, so did you go up and remind him? Did you talk to him? And he said, no, I already talked to him once. He was supposed to come to me. And I was like, whoa, hold on. Whose homework is it? And my son was like, well, it's mine. And I said, if that homework doesn't get turned in, whose fault is it? And he was like, well, it's mine. And I said, and whose grade is that? And he was like, that's mine. And I said, whose career does that affect? Yours or the teacher's? And he wasn't really clear about that. But just so that we're clear, it affects his, not the teacher's. So many times we expect for our supervisors or our bosses or even our loved ones to, to have our best interests at hand. And I'm not saying that they don't, but what you have to get through your mind is you are not so special that someone is thinking about you every moment of the day and saying, how can Josh be more successful? How, what can I tell him to do that will make him even better than he is today? That doesn't happen. The only person who can be, should be, will be asking those questions is you. And so my question to you is, are you asking those questions? Are you, are you taking the time to, to decide what it is that you're going to do? Because no one else is going to do that for you. No one else is going to make those decisions for you. It's time to put on your big boy pants and go out into the world and do something amazing. And you're not going to do that by asking other people for permission. You have permission. It's called life. And until you die, that's all you need. If you mess up, go do something else. Eventually you will find what works. But you won't get anywhere if you're waiting for someone to give you a hall pass. You won't get anywhere if, if you don't take it upon yourself to make that initiative. So... I'm going to close with this. What is it that you've been thinking about doing that maybe you've you've wanted some sort of special permission? You, you thought that you needed someone to tell you it was okay to do or you wanted someone to tell you, how can I do this? Is there something in your life that's like that? And if there is, is there a way that you can analyze it, take a good look at it? And a lot of times this means taking a good look within and deciding what are the next steps, breaking it down into like little tiny actionable items that you can do within a day or week or at the most a month and say, what are those things that I can do to get the ball rolling? That is my action plan. And if, if this route doesn't work, then I'll just backtrack a little bit and go take this route. And I'll continue to take different routes. And so I know I said it was closing, but I just thought of this. So let's take it back to the polymaths, right? And one of my favorite polymaths and examples to ever bring up is, is Thomas Edison and his uh, invention of the light bulb. Because as, as I've mentioned before, as many of you may already know, it took him over 10,000 attempts to make that damn thing. Could you imagine... If you had failed more than 10 times on, on some big project you were trying to do, I know me, I would probably just give up. Could you imagine if 100 times, 200 times, 1,000 times, this is where you have to say it's not up to anyone else but me to make this happen. And you have to put your back to the fire and you have to want this more than you want to breathe. You have to, you have to imagine you're drowning. And the only way, the only way that you're going to survive is by getting above the water. And so you struggle until your last little bit, your last breath. And if you don't, then you might as well just drown. Because there goes that dream. And could you imagine? What if Thomas Edison had given up? on the hundredth time, the two hundredth time, the three hundredth time, the the nine hundred ninety ninth time, nine hundred nine thousand nine hundred ninety ninth time. 
What if he had given up? We wouldn't have light bulbs today. We'd still be living in the dark ages. All because he gave himself permission. All because he didn't give up on himself. Now we're all capable of this. Yes, you are too. But you have to find it in yourself. No one else is going to give you that. So, anyways, gone a little bit over time here, but if you uh, if you have something like that 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 you're struggling with, you know, write it out. Let me know. Maybe I can help. Or maybe you know what it is. I dare you put the damn thing down in the comments and share it to the world. That way you're accountable to someone, even if it's only in your mind. You're accountable. Anyways, I hope this has been helpful and at the least bit entertaining. And until next time, take it easy.